guys welcome to this today's video today i will tell you how to monitor your battery usage and prevent it from draining overnight or usage of unwanted apps of your battery control them and prevent them from stop sucking your cpu power or battery drain let's get started first thing you need to do is go to settings go to battery here there will be a list of apps shown that used your battery for the last 24 hours or the last charge last time you unplug from your charger sorry for that and you can see the cpu overall cpu power cpu total minutes used by the app and total awake time used by the cpu that means the app has kept the cpu from sleeping that means the app has prevented the cpu from stopping and kept it at a running state that's why you face a lot of battery drain here you can see whatsapp has used 18 minutes of cpu and kept my phone awake for almost 3 minutes and you can see chrome 14 minutes of cpu 19 minutes of mobile radio so total power is 48 mAh. here we come with a simple app called wake lock detector light this app allows you to monitor and control your battery status without root this is not a battery saver app or clean master like that not like that app this app allows you to deeply monitor your cpu wake lock screen wake lock and raw triggers wake by kernel all you need to do is download the application from the description given below and follow me go to settings go to about phone and tap the build number you actually find your build number by scrolling in the about phone at the last you need to tap it seven times so some device have already enabled it but i'm sure you will not have enabled this if you tap it seven times it will show that developer options is already enabled or you are already a developer make sure developer options is enabled and go to developer options and turn that switch on and you need to find usb debugging i say again usb de debugging do not touch anything else in this section if you don't know what you are doing just turn on the developer options and scroll down just hit that usb debugging and allow usb debugging permissions click on ok now you need to quickly power up your pc and or laptop take a usb cable connect it to your computer and plug it into your phone open the app and just sit back and open your laptop now you need to download a simple software or exe file that runs on your computer these are just basic drivers for making the app work without root access if you have root access most probably nobody will be having root access as far as i know but i will follow you non-root tutorial go to the app i have installed this is called minimal adb and fastboot after you install this go to my computer local disk c and or your main os drive or if you have selected browse and custom install the file browse it manually most probably it will be installed in c program files x86 is a 64-bit pc or normal program files if you have a 32-bit pc you can find a folder called minimal adb and fastboot you have some files here do not touch anything just hold shift and hit the right click if you hold shift and hit right click a list of menu appears you can see open command window here hit that command prompt on the current window location given below you need to type adb devices this will show you or show available devices connected to your computer don't worry this won't harm your device in any way just uh, if you have if your device is asking any permissions just click on rsa debugging notification just check the box and click on ok now you see a number random string of numbers showing as device it means your device is connected successfully and your computer has recognized it now we need to type in this from the description given below adb tcp ip triple five or sorry it's four five double five double five and hit the enter button and you can see that the app pops up right up with new battery status and you can remove the cable from the computer and pick up a phone and you may notice that whatsapp has kept awake statistics 
and it will be showing you statistics in 7 hour 43 minutes since I plugged into the charger and the device was awake for 20% WhatsApp has used by CPU 159 times that's way too high right because WhatsApp frequently checks for messages that incoming and outgoing and you can also check for that Facebook hogger alive here and there are three different types of wake locks wake locks are the thing that keeps your CPU from sleeping there are screen wake lock CPU wake lock and wake up triggers screen wake lock is just when you're looking at the screen or watching movies most probably MX player will be the screen wake lock and CPU wake lock is one that won't let your mobile phone CPU from sleeping and like the video put a thumbs up if you didn't like put it down hit like share and subscribe thank you for watching as always thanks again